The Nostrand Avenue line, served by the 2 and 5 services, is the only A Division line that goes south in Brooklyn. The line starts as a branch of the Eastern Parkway line, turning south after Franklin Avenue, and ends abruptly at Flatbush Avenue Brooklyn College. The rest of Brooklyn south of this location is served by the Brighton, West End, and Sea Beach lines, along with some mediocre bus routes. Because of the poor subway coverage in parts of Brooklyn and the heavy use some of the borough's bus lines see, extensions to the subway such as the Utica Avenue line have been long proposed. That extension, however, we have already covered in a video a long time back, and after over a year, it is time to talk about an extension to the Nostrand Avenue line. Nostrand Avenue is a major north-south street in the borough of Brooklyn. Besides the 2 and the 5 lines, Nostrand Avenue is mainly served by the B44 Select Bus Service. This bus route is the fourth most used bus route in the borough of Brooklyn, with an average of 17,966 riders per day according to the 2022 NYCT bus ridership statistics. Keep in mind that as a select bus route, this is only counting the number of people that are actually paying for the bus, either by purchasing a ticket via the curbside machines or paying with Omni on board the bus. In my experience with select bus routes in New York City, most people do not pay for the bus, which may mean that this ridership number could be even higher than what the data claims. Anyway, the B44 select bus service travels from the Williamsburg Bridge bus terminal to Sheepshead Bay. Between Eastern Parkway and Flatbush Avenue, the B44 runs above the 2 and 5 lines, providing supplemental service. At Flatbush Avenue, however, the 2 and 5 lines terminate and the B44 select bus continues south, alone. While many may believe a single select bus service route is enough to serve Nostrand Avenue south of Flatbush Avenue, I disagree. With the inconsistencies with this bus route paired with the distance between Nostrand Avenue and the Brighton line, there isn't many alternatives for people looking for a quick and easy way to get out of Brooklyn. This is the same issue many people have with the Utica Avenue. While Utica Avenue is served by the B46 Select Bus Service, the route can get extremely crowded during peak times and can be very inconsistent, as most other bus lines are. This can mean that daily you are pushing as many riders as the G train gets per day onto a bus line, which can lead to many, many issues. Not to mention both Utica Avenue and Nostrand Avenue are rather undeveloped for their status as two major streets in the borough. A subway extension along those two avenues could prompt redevelopment works and upzoning, similar to what's currently happening along 2nd Avenue. This is why I, as many other transit enthusiasts do, propose an extension of the Nostrand Avenue line. Personally, I would extend it to the Manhattan Beach neighborhood of Brooklyn to better serve Kingsborough Community College. Stations along this extension would include Avenue L, Kings Highway, Avenue R, Avenue U, Shore Parkway, and Oriental Boulevard where the line would curve east and have tail tracks just past the station to allow trains to be stored there during off-peak hours and weekends. Personally, I would build this as an underground extension of the line to prevent too many properties being acquired and demolished by the city and to avoid community backlash about the possible noise an elevated extension could produce. I also feel like a bridge over Sheepshead Bay between Shore Parkway and Oriental Boulevard may skyrocket the price of the project. A new underground storage yard would be constructed near the Flatbush Avenue station, similar to the underground storage yard near the 137th Street station on the one line to store unused cars during late nights and or off-peak times, and to allow for trains to be short-turned at that location if that is required. The Flatbush Avenue station would also see significant changes, as the southern end of the station would need to be reconstructed to allow the line to continue further north. Other than the modifications to the Flatbush Avenue station and the addition of a small storage yard, the extension would be rather generic. It would consist of mostly island platforms, similar to the 2nd Avenue line extension, however, it will not contain the overbuilt mezzanines. 
I feel like the overbuilt mezzanines at our newest stations, such as 72nd Street on 2nd Avenue or 34th Street on the 7 line, are some of the main reasons the cost of those two projects were so insane. The MTA has a habit of overbuilding, and we do not want the same mistake to be made with this extension. While it is good to plan ahead and add capacity for the future, a 600 foot long mezzanine is not the way to go. Now you may be wondering what is going to happen to the B44 bus if this extension is constructed. After all, it doesn't make much sense to have a select bus line and a subway line running along the same street. I would move the B44 bus over to a new busway along Bedford Avenue a few blocks to the west. I actually did this to an extent in my own personal Brooklyn bus redesign, however since currently the Nostrand Avenue line ends at Flatbush Avenue, I have it switching to Nostrand Avenue at Flatbush Junction. If you're interested in seeing some of my bus redesigns in the future, tell me down in the comments section below. This like many other subway extensions however, should not be a priority. Completing the 2nd Avenue line and creating the Utica Avenue line should be higher on the list of priorities for the MTA, as those have more benefits for riders than this extension along Nostrand Avenue. What is your opinion on an extension of the Nostrand Avenue line? Tell me in the comment section below, and if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, like, subscribe, and consider supporting the channel via channel memberships or super thanks. Special thanks to Stuart Guberman for supporting me at the two Broadway tier and Damien's Transit and Health Bar videos and the West Farms Fomer for supporting me at the Train Operator tier.